Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. And today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait with only three steps. So here we have the actions. So after you have downloaded them, you have the retouching kit uh, 2024. Just click here on the first step and click play. Wait until it's done and as you can see there are a bunch of things uh, in the first step. It's the cleaning, it's the dodgy burn, lipstick color, it's the eye shadows if you want to change it. We have the white and brighter eyes and teeth, we have the sharpness and here we have a black and white help layer that is going to help us uh, when we are dodgy and burning. So the first uh, step here is cleaning, that says clean layer and clean here. So we have the spot healing brush tool. We are going to zoom in where you want to start cleaning this portrait. So before we start uh, retouching this portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the retouching kit 2024, also the raw files that I'm using right now. Uh, let's just uh, start cleaning this portrait with the spot healing brush tool. I'm gonna speed up this process because it's only with a clean. So see you guys in just a few seconds. So here we have a before and after what we've done in the cleaning section and now that we are done with clean it's time for the dodge and burn so just click here on the group of the dodge and burn and click on the dodge click B for brush as we can as you can see we have a black layer mask here so we have to work with a white brush so I'm gonna go with 10% of opacity and 100% flow and turn on the black and white help layer just a little zoom in where you want to start uh, dodge and burning this portrait so another method uh, sometimes that I use for the dodge and burn is that I go here to window, click orange and uh, choose a new window for uh, 11 PSD, which is the name of the file and click here again, window, orange and click here on two up vertical. So we have uh, the same, same portrait in two windows. The reason why I do this is because uh, the left window Usually I leave it uh, in the zoom out so you don't have to zoom in and zoom out every time that you are working in the dungeon burn. So I just leave it like this in the zoom out. And in the right window, I zoom in where I want to start dodging this portrait. Uh, for example, if you, uh, if you work in the right window, uh, it will appear here on the left. So keep an eye sometimes in the left window. So let's just uh, dodge and burn this portrait. Let me demonstrate you as you can see and we are in the burn here which is a mistake because we want to dodge so click on the dodge and we want to dodge the darker parts of this portrait so make sure that uh, the brushes are uh, okay for example i'm using the soft round which is a general brush of the photoshop and uh, right now uh, 10 percent opposite and 100 percent low is kind of too much so i'm gonna go by the flow like 45% maybe and uh, I will keep working until I think that uh, the portrait is okay so I'm just gonna dodge and burn this portrait So here we have a before and after only of the dodge and I think that is looking okay. I'm just gonna brighten just a little the eyes and I'm gonna close the left window because it's the same window. So here we have a before and after so far and I think that is looking okay. Uh, right now I'm just gonna keep cleaning just a little more here on this part because as you can see we didn't clean them before. So just click on the clean layer and just clean whatever you want on the portrait. Uh, I leave this because sometimes uh, some parts I uh, clean with a 
frequent separation method. So after I'm done with this, uh, the first step of this all of these these uh, layers, I'm gonna show you how I clean with frequent separation. So this is a before and after what we've done so far into this portrait, and I think that is looking okay. Now I'm gonna check only the dodge and burn as you can see before and after and i think that is looking okay but as you can see with the dodge is kind of too much so i'm just gonna lower it just a little and i think that 75 will be enough now check on the burn and i think that we are good to go now click here on the lipstick color for example if you want to change the lipstick color of the portrait uh, you can just click here on the lipstick color and uh, the default color i left it red so you can see what's going on here i'm gonna click B for brush, 100% of opacity and 100% flow. I'm just gonna paint it around the lips, just like this. So here's the before and after of the lipstick. And if you wanna change the lipstick color, you just click here and double click and move uh, whatever color that you were. Uh, looking for for example we can choose a purple maybe a lighter pink something like that uh, maybe a red uh, sorry a blue one green whatever you want but uh, I'm gonna leave it here on the red because this is how I like them now check a before and after and I think they're looking good uh, if the lines of the lipstick are kind of too sharp you can just double click here and move the feather into the right and you will see the changes but don't uh, do it like 10% or maybe 20 something like that because as you can see that uh, the lines are kind of too smooth so I'm gonna leave it maybe 0 0.1 or 2 because they are looking okay now check a before and after also if you think that the color is kind of too much you can always lower the opacity of the group and I think that I'm gonna leave it by 85 now check a before and after and I think they're looking good Now that we are done with lipstick color. It's time for the eyeshadows uh, Which says pick a color So I think that I'm gonna pick the red color that is on the lips and just paint it here As you can see this one is great for the makeup artist because you can uh, make the changes in Whatever color that you want for example, we can choose a Maybe a red red one maybe pink or purple I don't know whatever color that you want uh, is okay for example this kind of orange as you can see which is looking good but not for preferences and I think that I'm gonna go with a purple kind of interred something like this and just paint it do the same process in both of sides and now you can check a before and after and if you think that they're looking good you can leave them as they are and if not you can always go back and choose the color a different color and just paint on the sides first just like this now check up before and after and i think that is looking okay but 100% uh, of opacity is kind of too much so i'm gonna go by 50% and leave it as it is and now that we are done with the eyeshadows, it's time for the whiter and brighter eyes and teeth. This one works fine per, for both of them. I'm just gonna zoom in here on the eyes and just paint it with 100% of the brush. And as you can see, in the white of the eyes, it's affecting like too much. So we have to remove it just a little by switching to the dark brush and just painting over there. Now check a before and after, and I think that is okay, but 100% uh, sometimes or always is kind of too much, so I'm gonna go by 45 maybe. And since uh, the teeth are kind of into a shadow, I'm gonna leave them as they are. And here we have the sharpness, and as you can see, the layer mask is black, which means that there is nothing there. So we have to uh, switch uh, from the dark brush or back, black brush sorry which was uh, into white one and with 100% of opacity 100% flow I'm just gonna paint it where I want uh, the sharpness to be showing and here we have 
the sharpness only on the skin which is uh, kind of too much with 100% opacity I'm gonna zoom in and you can check a before and after and I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them by 45% now check a before and after of this entire process and I think that is looking amazing now that we are done with the first step of these actions I'm just gonna click shift and click here on the background right click and just click on the merge layers which is gonna merge all the layers into a single one and now is the second step which is frequent separation just click play and wait until it's done here we have the frequent separation i'm gonna make some changes uh, on the highlights shadows and everything else so just click here on the mixer brush uh, settings that i'm going to use right now are wet by 10 percent load by 45 mix bar 33 flow by 45 i'm gonna zoom in where i want to start uh, mixing the skin tones for example uh, in the forehead just mix them until uh, you think that it's enough but don't make the mistake to overdo them because if you overdo this process the whole portrait will look fake and we don't want that look for example, if you're working only with a dodge and burn, you can leave the African separation out of this process. Uh, but I can't because I really love African separation. And I use both of the techniques in my retouching thing. And uh, you can mix both of them. I mean, like, why not? Separation is a really great thing and I really really love it So let's just check a before and after with the texture on and as you can see a before and after and As you can see we have uh, removed the highlights from this portrait So if you want to recover them you can just uh, make a layer mask here and just paint uh, with a darker brush just like this or you can double click here and click here on the underlying layer hold alt keyboard and just click here and we are going to divide the highlights as you can see with this one so hold alt keyboard click it and just drag this into the left now check a before and after it's affecting only the shadows midtones and the highlights we are uh, are here as you can see and I think that they're looking okay now that we are done with the low it's time for the high so high is the texture so I'm gonna make some changes here and there so in the high uh, we are going to work uh, with the clone stamp tool opacity by 100% and flow by 100% the reason why I left uh, some of them here uh, for cleaning is that I left them in purpose just to show you how you can uh, clean with frequent separation so you have to click again all keyboard as we did before with the other thing you have to click all keyboard and just click it to copy the texture and just paint to paste so you have to copy paste as near as possible for example if you copy here and paste it here as you can see you are going to make some uh, bad texture so you have to be careful and copy paste as near as possible in case that uh, the texture remains original and it doesn't look fake and it doesn't leave the marks behind so just uh, keep copy pasting the texture in case uh, you are cleaning the portrait so here we have a before and after of the frequent separation and i think that is looking really good and if you think that uh, you have overdone the process of the frequency separation you can always lower the entire uh, opacity group or you can just click here on the low and just reduce it maybe by 17 and it's okay now that you are done with frequency separation tool just click shift and click on the background right click and merge layers in layers into a single one and here we have a before and after of this entire process and now that we are done with the first second uh, process it's time for the third step uh, sorry step not process they are the same and click here on the third step just click play wait until it's done and here we have a elegance look which is into a 
black layer mask. So we have to switch it into the white. So just click Control and I. And here we have the elegance look, which is really great. But I don't want to do this process because I just want to affect on the face. So keep it into the black layer mask. And with a white brush, just paint it where you want this effect, just like this. Or you can do the process like this. You can click on the contextual tiles bar and just click here that says select subject. It will automatically select the subject. Uh, the AI in Photoshop is really great, so I really like it. So just uh, click control and delete. And here we have that is affected only on the subject. So you can just click Alt and click here and we, we can enter on the layer mask. And as you can see, uh, you have to click Alt and click it here again. And I think that uh, some parts are not affected as good as they should be. So I'm going to click here on the um, brush and choose the black brush and just paint it uh, to remove this effect. For example, in the parts where the selected was not good enough so i'm just gonna paint to remove them just like this so here's a before and after and i think that is looking really great for example you can uh, just make another copy of this one and make it black entirely so there's nothing and just paint it inside the eyes which is really really great for the eyes now check a before and after and is looking really really good i'm gonna lower the opacity of this one and go back to the first one which was our subject and i think that i'm going to reduce it by 59 maybe and i think that is okay i'm gonna turn on the eyes only as you can see a before and after all this entire process and uh, one more thing that i'm gonna do this is double click here and click here on the underlying layer and i'm gonna switch this into the right which we uh, which will leave the shadows unaffected and i think they will look better as you can see now i'm just going to merge them into a single layer again and here we have a before and after retouch of this video tutorial and now that we are done with retouch you can color grade the portrait if you want to so i'm going to click here on the color grade uh, light skin and i'm going to Check them one by one until I find my best color grading. And I think that I'm gonna stick with A1. As you can see, I'm just gonna reduce the opacity of this entire, pro uh, entire folder and I'm gonna merge them again. So here we have a before and after of this entire process. Here's before and here's after. Let me zoom in. As you can see, the texture is really good. Here we have a before and here we have an after. So, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video as well. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the RAW files, also the free RAW files, which are in my Telegram channel. So you have to join my Telegram channel in order to get all the free RAW files. Also, the retouching actions are in the description. Let me know if I am understandable or not. Let me know if you learned something from me or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.